I call this tale Jamie's School Dinners. They say that school food was healthier in the old days when children ate brains, liver, heart and kidney. Today's children won't eat internal organs. Give them chicken nuggets every time. Mind you, if they knew what went into the making of a chicken nugget, they might think differently. One thing's for sure, it's not chicken. <laughs> Jamie loved chicken nuggets, but then he did have a brain the size of two peanuts. His parents had given him theirs. You can put our two little brains together to make one big brain. I don't know what to say. Well, pop them in and maybe you'll think of something. <laughs> His parents had stopped using their brains the day they told Jamie that a cola and a cheeseburger was a balanced meal. Yum, 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 yum. You can hold one in each hand, see? And because they're the same weight, that is balanced. You could tightrope walk across Death Valley like that. Actually, a pound of lard would balance two. Unless I went and ate it, because I would, because I love lard. <laughs> Because all he ever ate at home was processed slops, Jamie grew used to the taste. And because he wouldn't eat anything he hadn't tasted before, all he ever ate was junk. And if it's true that you are what you eat, that meant Jamie was junk too which is why nobody cried when he disappeared. I think I'd better explain. Uh. At school, Jamie never ate lunch. The headmistress had a rule that every child had to eat five portions of fresh fruit and vegetables every day. Not oh. Jamie. Oh. Won't you at least try something? All right, I'll try this. Yuck! It's disgusting! Now do you believe I don't like anything? That she relaxed her rules and hired an emergency dinner lady who couldn't cook fresh food for toffee, but could reheat junk. The next day, Ambrosine started at the school. She arrived in a tanker full of cooking oil. And when she jumped out of the cab, children fled in terror. It was the curly toes and the creepy way she had of licking sugar off a teaspoon. You must be Jamie, she said. How did you know? Overweight children give off a powerful scent when they're ripe for the picking. Are you the woman who's come to cook me... Uh, uh, cook for me, I mean? Whoops. Slip of the tongue. Or was it? Now, take me to your larder. We must feed you up immediately. From that day on, Jamie grew fatter with every processed school dinner she produced. These are bacon drummers. Are they pig's legs? They were legs once. From a pig? Unlikely. But he still ate seconds. The next day, it was chicken nuggets shaped into feet. Made from the rankest cuts of meat that I wouldn't even feed to a dog. I have extracted all the taste and goodness, then pumped it full of artificial flavorings and preservatives to give it a shelf life longer than radioactive uranium. Is it chicken? No, but it would be chicken not to eat it. Enjoy! The next few weeks, Jamie gorged on fat, salt, grease, sugar and enough chemicals to raise the dead. It didn't matter what Ambrosine put in his food, Jamie ate everything, so long as it wasn't fresh. So, when he found a radio receiver in his chocolate pizza, he didn't bat an eyelid. Down it went with everything else. But the junk food was taking its toll. 
Jamie was not only fat, but now he was spotty as well, and he couldn't concentrate in lessons either, especially when his teeth fell out. And he soon became lazy and forgetful. Hello, I'm... um... Home? No, Jamie. Have you had a nice day? We were going out this morning, but we forgot where we were going, so we've just sat here instead. Quite nice. Oh, I'm exhausted. Oh, kids today, no stamina. That night, Jamie was so tired he went to bed early. Phew, it's way past my bedtime. Four hours later, in a steel-ringed kitchen in the North Atlantic, a radio-controlled transmitter was switched on. And Jamie's stomach twitched. Then his legs swung out of bed and he started sleepwalking. Down the stairs, out of the house, and into the street. He didn't wake, not even on the night bus. Not even when he walked in front of a jumbo jet. Not even when the ferry left without him and he swam two miles to the island. Ambrosine's Island, where junk food kids were junked. <laughs> when Jamie woke up, he was lying on a chopping board. Oh, I feel like I've been hit over the head. That'll be the monosodium glutamate. It can leave some children with a bit of a hangover. Where am I? On telly. This is a cookery program for the Witch and Warlock channel, so quieten down. Add plenty of salt and sugar. There we go. Then add your stuffing. This is three pounds of unrendered fat, bone and gristle. Now, this child shouldn't need much at all because he's nice and plump already. Tamp it all down, squeeze it in there and... Oh! There we go, the fat child explodes. <laughs> then all you have to do is scrape him off the wall and mould this gorgeous squidge into any shape that takes your fancy. This is a foot. Cover it in breadcrumbs and deep fry till burnt and inedible. Perfect chicken nuggets, fit for the school dinner table every time. High Priestess Ambrosie never went back to Jamie's school. She went in search of other children to eat her junk food. So beware of any new dinner lady who suddenly turns up at your school and offers you chicken nuggets. She may not be a lady at all. She may just be a witch shopping for ingredients. <laughs>